Hey guys, Luna here, and we're back with a little learn of buying numbers. And we're on to actually case two since last time. We are since last time we just solved case one and we saw that the murderer of our old boss and best friend died by jumping off his balcony, but it hadn't been a great start to sum the summer. But we suspect that it might be false play. The job I love, my whole career was gone. I was lost, and that was the least of my worries. I hadn't seen a real body since my dad's funeral, but suddenly I was haunted by death. First plague, then the man who killed him, and somehow, in a way I couldn't begin to understand, I was at the center of it all. The only good thing to come out of that day was meeting scouts. But he had problems of his own. Could he have even understand what I was going through? Still, it was good to have someone to talk to. It was a nice feeling. Comfortable. I wondered how long it would last. See, what did I tell you? Your friends are late. I said we should have taken a cab. You really want to miss your own awards show? They'll be here, Mom. They probably they are probably stuck in traffic. Dick Stanford is hosting this year. I bet he's not stuck in traffic. He's a professional. I asked Casey to drive me to the awards. I can't bail on him just because you invited yourself along at the last second. Well, it's not like you're going to bring a date, is it? Speaking of which, I saw Ryan the other day. Ryan, I, I, Ryan I, and I are through, Mom. Divorced. It's over. With that attitude, I'm always surprised. But there's no substitute for a good man, I should know. That reminds me. I found something yesterday while I was cleaning out a drawer. Think of it as an early birthday gift. Ugh. My birthday was three months ago, Mom. And... Why have you always got to make such a big deal out of everything? Just take it. Let's see what it is. Four, five, six, five, six, oh. Three, four, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, seven. Don't know what this looks like right now, but I honestly have no idea what my mother appears to be. Could have gotten me since clearly it was something that she likes and wanted to get me. So it's fairly clear that we do not have a good relationship with our mom in this world. The pot. Uh, oh, it seems like a yeah locket because there's the face was in the center and then there's the open case here. Uh, mom, I don't want to open it. There's a photograph inside. Oh wow! Why is that police stand officer standing in front of a giant brown hat? And must be at least 25 feet in diameter. How big must the the person who wears that happy. I'll need to add this to my database. 
Uh, no, Scout, that's the Brown Derby on Wilshire. I love that restaurant as a kid. And he isn't just any police officer. That's the photo of her father. Not that it's any of your business. Really, Honor, I don't know where you found this thing. It's not even human. Correct. I am not human. I am Scout. You better point that camera of yours. Don't start, Mom. I'm just happy you found this photo. I don't have a lot of pictures of Dad. It's good to see him again. Thanks for it, Liz. I appreciate it. Oh, that's sweet. Sorry I'm late. Traffic was... It's about time you showed up. I always thought you were an unliable, but this takes the cake. Miss... M Miss Ria. Oh, del del delighted to see you as always. Honor, you didn't tell me your mother was coming. You could have warned me. I would have brought my wooden stake. Sorry, I didn't know today until today. Trust me, she wasn't exactly my first choice for a plus one either. One second, I think this is my phone. Anna, you know how my ankles get if I have to stand for too long. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll see you there, bye. <laughs> Becky says she doesn't need a ride anymore, she'll meet us there. Well, are we going, or are you gonna to. Are you two gonna stand out here yapping until sundown? I'm gonna sit in the car before I catch a cold. But it's in the middle of. <laughs> Have you considered putting yourself up for adoption? <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we should get going. Right, you are. Wouldn't you <laughs> want her heart to thud in the hot car? Which <laughs> new location discovered? <laughs> I offer you to see. Thank you, see. So, ready for the Starshine Awards? Why is Dick Sanford hosting? Don't you think it's a bit weird that Dick Sanford's hosting the awards? Your entire chat show host is hardly going to bring the viewers, is he? You know Marcy, the stylist I know at the late, the late, late show. She said it's because he runs the Starshine community, he uses his clout to demand the make him presenter. Sounds about right for this town. If he's been running the awards this long, he must be doing a good job, but I can't particularly want to watch him. Me neither, but Mom won't shut about the, up about the guy. He's the only reason she's coming. I swear, when he quit TV, she was sadder when, than when Grandma died. Speaking of which, I think we better go soon. If your mom starts at me from the car for much longer, she'll bore whore right in my head. So, I, I honestly would be a bit better, but I'm still kind of processing, you know? I don't want to bug you, but this last time you were quiet, this quiet was because of that douchebag. So, I was a little worried. Well, you shouldn't. No matter how bad things get, I'm never going back there, I promise. Have you spoken to your agent about any new roles? I could always put some feelers about the stylist amongst the stylist network. We hear everything. Truth be told, I haven't been told her. I don't want to rush into things. I mean, my savings will last another couple of months. I'll be fine. Of course you will. I mean, you got me, haven't you? And I guess you got Scout now, too. Although, just to clarify, it's so crazy that you have a literal flying robot. <laughs> That's fine, I'm not jealous. It's been, it's been fun having Scout in my place, but I'm exhausted. The little guy's been soaking up information like a sponge ever since we've watched Casablanca. We've watched it 26 movies over the last past 9 days. I wanted to see more, but Honor has run out of tapes. I warned you about getting, getting square eyes from that much TV. But it's not the TV, he's read almost every book I own. He loved that on mystery novels. If I can learn the techniques of all the great detectives, I might be able to find out where I'm from. I can't believe anyone would build something as credible as Scout and then just throw them away in a junkyard. Whoever they are, they don't deserve them anymore. Forget about them. I already did. That is the problem. Anyways, I suppose we should... Head to the uh, theater. To the theater! Well, I never! They actually gone all out on the decorations this year! There's a champagne waiter. Hey, hello over here! Honor, what's up? Everyone's staring at us, at 
me. What do you expect? This is what you signed up for when you became an actress. I'm going to find our table. Do people know about what happened to the studio? About Blake? You know Hollywood honor. News travels fast. They'll get over it. What's the matter with you people? You. Yeah, you. You in the cheap jacket. Maybe you should spend less time gawking at, a, gawking at us and more time in front of a mirror. That wig isn't fooling anyone. Nicely done. I wish I could make that big an entrance. <laughs> Ryan? What the hell are you doing here? Ah, Casey, loud as clueless as always. I'm here because I was invited. Were you? Or did Honor just bring you along out of pity? Oh, of course! I forgot they added a word for sleaziest ex husbands of the year. I'm rooting for you, Ryan. It's about time people recognize how good you were in that role. Thanks, Casey, but I can handle him. Would you go check on my on mom, make sure she's okay? Fine. Even she she's a step up from this bottom feeder. <laughs> I heard about his showrunner. Hard to believe that kind of thing can really happen since not when you've seen the body first hand. You must have been overwhelmed. Sorry about that I help. Thanks, but I don't need your help. I did just find a man. Really? Yeah, that's not what I heard. Is it true the murderer died before the cops could get in? Took a dive off the 10th floor. Two dead in one day, and both times you were just a little too late. Gotta say, that doesn't sound just fine to me, but I guess you're still too proud to admit you need my help. I did the best I could under the circumstances. I'm sh Sure you did. Just food for thoughts. Just something like that, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. Got some business to see to. Enjoy the ceremony. God, I, I don't like him. <laughs> that was my ex-husband. He's an ass. That's, that is not the definition I have on file for ass. What time does the award show start? Can't I cannot wait to see what it is like. I'm not sure. I think I got details here somewhere. Oh, another puzzle. Huzzah. So I'm guessing this is gonna be the invitation to tell us what time the show actually starts. Da, 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 da. Three, four, five, six. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Well, I bet that's like this. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, and then the last two. I can knock off those. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But four has to go here, meaning that nine's like that. So it's five there. All knocked off, that's off. Six, three. Let's see here, dude.
guess that's like a flyer. I, I mean, I see the poster, but I eh. take your word for a game. I welcome to the 21st annual Starshine Awards, hosted by Dick Stanford. I know that name. Your mother has mentioned him 43 times so so far today. Yeah, she's kind of obsessed. He used to host a late night, late night talk show, Back Talk. It's, it says here he is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award to be presented by his former co-host, Kathleen Cartwright. It's about time to... He's a legend. Mom, what are you doing? Did you find our table? Of course I did, but I'm not up to sit there alone with that Casey. I don't like that boy who looks at me. <laughs> No wonder you can't find the girlfriend. <laughs> but he's gay. I don't have the time to get into that right now because he's gay. Or why? I can't see Dick anywhere. Do you think he had to cancel? Jesus, Jesus, Mom, give it a rest, will you? He's probably backstage. All of these people, why don't they sit down so I can see? Hey, you with the serving tree, get out of the way. Becky, never thought I'd say this, but thank God you're here. <laughs> Me, Miss the Star, sign of words, never. I just had some stuff to deal with at home. But you understand, Honor? You're always talking about how crazy Mom is. She said what? Becky, this is my mom. Oh, hi. I heard so much about you. Uh, she's just kidding, Mom. I... Hey, I think that was... Hey, I think that was him. Mr. Stanford. Dick. Dick over here. She moves fast for an old lady. Honor, I swear to God, if your mom gets us kicked out of the Star Channel Awards, I better go find her before she does anything crazy. New location discovered. Backstage. Ah, let's go. Mom? Mom, are you back here? I can't believe she's actually- I can't believe I'm actually trying to find my mom. Give me a moment to scan the area. I may be able to see where she went. Oh, we scanned the outside first. Well, most ladder. Well, just a second. Since that can be huh. gives us a start at least. Well, since this is three, I can go. That's a good start as well. Since four can go four or two through four, so that can be like that. Cross that out, cross that out, that. This is most likely the f since this is the four right across those all. Mm. 
it off a little bit, which is always nice. Let's see here. Yeah, this doesn't help you with this row since that could be the one or the two. Um, for not much to help there. For not much to do, that's a two. I can cross that off. Don't know if the two, second two is above or below. Not sure here. This is the other two, I can cross those off. Since this is three, I notice that. Cross these rows. And let's see here, that cross that off. Let's see here, since these are separate. What is this? This is a bow tie? Yeah. Interesting. There's a bow tie on the floor. I hate to interrupt, but Mom wasn't wearing a bow tie. Perhaps not, but my scans indicate this was moved very recently. In fact, based on the crumpled angle of the fabric, Mother could be coming this way. Someone is coming this way. What? Who? Oh, I thought that was a woman. <laughs> ah, good. You hear about the flowers? Uh, what flowers? The ones in my dressing room, girl. Are you dead? Dick, glad to have finally caught up with you. I just want to say what a big fan I am. Sorry, I don't do autographs. Now, about those flowers, I specifically asked for Aztec lilies, but you gave me Alstromia. I could say pronounce it. An easy mistake that. Is this a new coffee machine? I'll take a triple grand non fat latte with no foam. So, what do you have to say for yourself? I, um. Come on, I don't. I haven't owned it. What's that you got in your hand? It's a bow tie, but. That thing again? I told you before, Dick Sanford does not wear a clip on. They're cheap and tacky. The damn thing do don't even get t the, the damn things don't even get tight enough. Now I'll have to go on stage in a turtleneck. I'm gonna have to look like some kind of amateur. I don't work here. No, no excuses. It, be, it was all in my contract. You'll be hearing from my lawyers about this. Wait, Dick. I wanted to. <sighs> so that's Dick Sanford, huh? What a guy. He's obviously just stressed. <laughs> when the, the sh show is, when's the show supposed to be starting, anyways? Mom, are you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. Why would I not be? Dick was pretty rude. You know, you're a big fan of Dick's, but you gotta admit he was pretty rude. It's just stress. I'm sure he's not normally like that. He loves his fans. I'm not surprised he's a little on edge after. He he was all but forced into retirement. Imagine if your show was taken away from you. Well, I, I, I hate to tell you. If you ask me, Mr. Sanford has every reason to be upset. They just made him retire just to replace him with that idiot Bobby Price. Or because he isn't young enough, or what was the word? Rad. Back in my day, radical meant some type of hippie. I thought you didn't like award. I'm surprised you wanted to come tonight. I thought you didn't like award shows. I don't. Why would I want to see a bunch of overpaid nobodies getting awards just for standing high around a camera? Thanks, Mom. Don't give me that look. You know how I feel about modern television. All style and no substance. What about Dick Sanford? He works in TV and he's biggest fan. That's completely different. He's got style. He's got flair. He's got a huge stick up his cast. That's what Six Stanford. That's what sets Six Stanford apart from the rest. 
He's a dying breed, Anna. When you said he was going to be here, I knew I had to come and support him. Him? What about me? My show's up for an award too, you know. Why do you always have to make everything about you? No. Just be you know, just a little bit more supportive. Maybe I wouldn't. Do you know Ryan's here? He's the last person I wanted to talk to. Him. You're bound to bump into him occasionally. He's got good connections. I always said he had a head for business. You don't find a let head man like him every day. Thank God for that. Just try to be civil. It's not your fault you decide it's not his fault you decide to leave him. Yes it is. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go back to the main hall. Where have you been? They're about to start. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be miss anything when I got a call up to be called uh, to collect a best actress. What? Did you even watch the season? I killed it. There's no way I'm taking home that trophy. Will you keep quiet? Dick is about to come on. I hate both of them. Yeah, Becky, keep quiet. Shh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma welcome, welcome everybody to the 21st annual Star Shine Awards. I am Dixie. You realize I keep jumping around accents for everybody. I'm just all of this. And I'm Kathleen Cartwright. I got to tell you, Dick, it's so good to be back on stage with you today. Thank you, Kathleen. Oh, well, isn't this just a wonderful reunion? I owe you said you make a great team. Now, before we begin with the wars, I want to say how grateful I am to all of you out there who have um, supported me since my retirement. My fans mean everything to me. I may not sh have my show anymore, but I have your support. Let me tell you the world tonight. Dick Sanford is not dead yet. Oh no. He's gonna get murdered, isn't he? And I bet it's gonna be hurt. No, I don't know. Uh, thank you. Now on to the awards. We, have, we begin with Best Actress. These lovely young ladies have graced our screens this year with their beauty and poise. And some of the men sure re remember their lines too. <laughs> uh, yes, the Starshine Committee has nominated some very talented actresses this year. Very true, the competition was fierce, but there can only be one winner. There was one name in particular we just couldn't ignore. Now, my lovely assistant can't. Kathleen here will do the honors and open the golden envelope. The winner is Sarah O'Honor for Oklahoma Dreaming. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big round of applause for Sarah and what a champ! I am so happy for her. Well deserved. Really, she earned it. Becky, people say, let him stare. This is a travesty. What is going into you, girl? Keep your voice down. I'm sick of keeping my voice down. I hardly doubt she's going to be murdered. The grand characters. These awards are a joke. I've worked my ass off for four years, and what have I done to show for it? I thought this would finally be my year, but no, Sarah oh freaking hair, are you kidding me? Well guess what? You're all dead to me. She's just the character that you assume because she, she gets pissed off. She's gonna be the murderer, but no. Well I guess it's someone time of the month, am I right? <laughs> Bloody hell, Becky just made Sally Field look reserved. You hate me. You really hate me. Ugh. Tough crowd. I better go after her. So, Miss Mizura, you are enjoying your evening so far?
It's no good. She locked herself in the restroom. I think she dropped some. I think she dropped something on her way out. Let me take a look. these things since <sighs> don't want to use a hint unless if I, if I don't have to so obviously that's that uh, this. the one I can knock that off I can knock these off mm. oh that doesn't make any sense the best of us. So. So. I don't know for sure if that's in. Let's see here. Is there anyone, is there anything I can? which one I did. This is three. Knock that off. Knock this off. Oh, this is. Cause two. This can only be two. So. That's two, that's one, 
And let's see, knock that off. That one does that. And that's there. What is that? Looks like a torn up speech. Sure, that's. I'm not really seeing that, so let's go with that. Thank you, everyone. I can't tell you how good it feels to finally receive the best, uh, the award for best actress. Mom, Dad, if you're watching, I told you I could do it. This is must have been Becky's acceptance speech, but her parents didn't even turn up. She must have been heartbroken. Crazy night, huh? I'm Bobby Price. Sounds familiar. Have we met? Not until now. Hey, aren't you that girl from the news, the one that solved a murder? And this must be a little robot dude. That's dope. Oh, because he's the dude that's being going to replace the thing. No, I am Scout. Bobby Price? What are you doing here? Oh, that's how I know your name. You ought to be ashamed to be in the same building as Dick Stanford. You stole his show. What are you talking about? I didn't steal anything. Can't you just people just leave me alone? You think you're so cool with your clothes and your hair? Dick's show went to hell when you took over. You threw every out everything that the fans loved. The only the only thing you idiots kept was the title. If you ask me, you should have changed that to you. Back talk? More like crap talk. Mom! I should get out of here. I think the show's about to start again. But, Honor, we should talk sometime. I'd love you to ha love to have you on for an interview. Thanks. I'll think about it. You'll do no such thing. He'll only want to boost his ratings before he gets cancelled. Dick. Dick's got you all brainwashed. I swear, next time I see him. See, what did I tell you? Network's full of idiots. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. Whoa. Where? There aren't many as lo well loved in tele uh, television as tonight's winner. Well, that well he may be retired. I'm sure we'll be talking about him for years to come. I'm pleased to give this award. Uh, this. I'm pleased to be able to give this award and these lovely flowers to my old co-star, Dick Stanford. Woo! Ah, these flowers smell incredible. I'm guessing they're still the wrong flowers. You know how much I loved Clement. Thank you, everyone. I spent over 20 years on television, so I learned a little something about what a successful something about what makes a successful show and I um sorry it's warm up here. I never thought my my show would <laughs> Sorry about this folks. Dick, are you okay? Have you been drinking? What? No, I don't I It's hot in here and all these people staring. They've been waiting to hear from you, Dick. Why don't you tell them about our show? Our show, you mean my show? I no, no, not mine anymore. Now it's his. Why are you talking about? Perhaps you better go lie down. Bob, 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 you prince, that sniveling little that they gave him my show. 20 years and I'm tossed out like, like. What? What are you all staring at? You think I'm all crazy, don't you? Well, let me tell you something. I don't feel so good. Oh, he's been poisoned! I, d I don't know what to say. I'm very sad that you had to see that. I'm sure he'd be better once he's slept that off. Bobby, or... Poor Dick, he looked terrible. What do you think was wrong with him? You mean besides being a terrible human being? That poor man's obviously in some kind of nervous breakdown. I'm gonna go check on him if no one else will. Gotta admit, I, you gotta admire her d dedication. I don't get it. We met Dick backstage and he was a complete jackass. And he used to was living up to his name. But mom refused to accept it. She's like, she's acting like nothing even happened. 
If you believe something for long enough, sometimes you don't want to see the truth, especially if it hurts. Maybe you're right. Looks like the show's finishing up. I guess we can figure about taking any you know, awards tonight. Why bother inviting all of us, of he all of us here if we weren't going to win anything? As if you had anything to do better on a Tuesday night. Touché. Although, there's a drag bingo at a club not far from here. We could go tonight. With your mother. Good point. Let's just head home. That about wraps everything up on a yet another wonderful evening. Many thanks to our award winners. On behalf of the Starshine community... Stop everything! Dick Sanford is dead! Episode 2, Fallen Star. I don't think it's the mother. I th it's obviously either her or the other dude. What? Dick's dead? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I know a dead body when I see one. I'll call, call the police. I'll call, I'll call, <coughs> I should reset. I'll call, I'll call the police. Mom. I went backstage. His door is open and he was... Oh, it could be him too, but I doubt it. Sharon, did you see who it was? Where did they go? Leave her alone, Ryan. She's in shock. What are you, a paramedic? I was just trying to help. You want to help? Go get her Go get her a glass of water. Come on, Mom, you should sit down. He was just lying there, staring up at the ceiling. You don't want my help? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a tragedy here tonight. We were luckily to have a, luckily enough to have a famous detective in the house. Honor Missouri, everyone. What the hell, Ryan? No need to be modest on it. We've read all about you, how you solved the murder of Blake Patterson. Honor, what is he talking about? Uh, I'm sorry. It seems that we haven't all read about it. Didn't you know your daughter's a hotshot detective now, Miss Mazira? Ryan, stop, please. It's not true, Mom. I'm not. I'm sure uh, Honor here would be only too happy to get off tonight's investigation. How about we give her a big hand, ladies and gentlemen? Why are you doing this? You better get to the crime scene, Honor. You don't want to be too late yet again. New location discovered. Dressing room. Off we go to see. Gasp! Strangulation or poison? He's really. By the scarf, most likely. Don't you think you can just walk away from me, Honor Mizera? What's going on? Is it true what everyone said? Someone died and you've been acting like some sort of detective? I've acted like a detective, so, uh, like some kind of detective here for years, and that was my job. Don't smart mouse me. You know what I mean. Is it true? Yes, but it was just. I don't want to hear. What were you thinking? It's bad enough you gave up your degree to become a low-rent TV actress, but now this? If your father was here. Mom, Dick Sanford is dead. Are you going to help or not? Maybe I should go put Dick's flowers in some water. They're starting to wood already. Mom, wait, I gotta do something with the flowers. It's kind of early to be collecting flowers for a funeral, isn't it? Don't you have somewhere else to be? Hey, I'm just here to watch a great detective at work. He's gonna be He's such a... Ugh, slime. I'm not a detective, I just... Stay out of my way, okay? And that's where we're gonna leave it today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to this next murder case. And may the stars guide your path to wherever it may lead. Hopefully not a murder.